Imagine you're on Mars and your helmet just slipped off. What happens in the next five seconds? That's a chilling thought, isn't it? Mars has been the object of our fascination for centuries, and in recent years, it's become the focal point of our ambitions for space exploration. We've dreamt of setting foot on the Red Planet, of establishing colonies, and even of terraforming it into a second Earth. But as romantic as these ideas are, they often overlook one crucial detail. Mars is not a hospitable place for humans. When we think about space exploration, we often conjure images of astronauts floating in zero gravity, or of vast alien landscapes under a starlit sky. But the reality of space travel is far less glamorous. It's a story of brilliant minds working tirelessly to overcome the immense challenges posed by the harsh conditions of outer space. Take the future of Martian exploration for instance. We're looking at a round-trip mission that could take roughly three years using current propulsion technology. That's three years of exposure to high levels of radiation, of being confined in a small spacecraft, and of being millions of miles away from home. And then there's Elon Musk's ambitious plan of colonizing Mars with a million people by the year 2050. This plan, as audacious as it is, hinges on the successful development of SpaceX's Starship spacecraft and the ability to convert Mars's resources into fuel. But even if we get past these hurdles, there are still numerous challenges to consider. The lack of a magnetic core to protect the atmosphere, the potential disruption of Mars's environment, and the physiological toll of living on Mars, to name a few. All these factors paint a sobering picture of the Martian landscape, a place of extreme temperatures, thin atmosphere, and radiation exposure. And that brings us back to our original question. What if your helmet slipped off on Mars? What would happen in those crucial five seconds? Now let's dive into the details of what Mars really has to offer. As you stand on the Martian surface, the first thing you'd notice is the air, or rather the lack of it. Now let's dive into why that is. Mars possesses an atmosphere but it's extraordinarily thin compared to what we're accustomed to here on Earth. It's composed mainly of carbon dioxide with traces of nitrogen and argon and the pressure is less than 1% of Earth's mean sea level pressure. This means that even if you could breathe carbon dioxide, which to be clear, you cannot, there wouldn't be nearly enough atmospheric pressure to get it into your lungs. This thin atmosphere doesn't just affect breathing, it also has a significant impact on the planet's temperature. You see, a thick atmosphere like Earth's acts like a blanket, trapping heat from the sun and keeping the planet warm. But Mars's thin veil of an atmosphere can't hold on to that heat, causing temperatures to plunge dramatically. On average, the temperature on Mars is a chilling negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than the South Pole at the height of winter. And while Mars can have warmer days, with temperatures reaching up to a balmy 20 degrees Fahrenheit at the equator, don't be fooled. When the sun sets, those temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And these aren't just occasional cold snaps. Mars is consistently cold. Its elliptical orbit and thin atmosphere lead to a lack of temperature stability, causing significant temperature fluctuations from day to night. So, with no helmet, you're now exposed to an environment that's incredibly cold and almost devoid of air. But that's not all. Without a helmet, the Martian environment starts to take a toll on you almost immediately. The thin atmosphere, about 1% the pressure of Earth's, leaves your body in an almost vacuum-like state. This sudden drop in pressure can lead to a condition called decompression sickness, more commonly known as the bends. You might be familiar with this term from deep sea diving accidents, but it's just as applicable here on Mars. The dissolved gases in your body, like nitrogen, would start to form bubbles, causing severe joint pain, dizziness, and potentially even paralysis. At the same time, the lack of oxygen, known as hypoxia, would quickly set in. Oxygen makes up just 0.13% of the Martian atmosphere compared to 21% on Earth. Your brain, deprived of this vital element, would begin to shut down. Within a few seconds, you'd lose consciousness, soon followed by organ failure and ultimately, death. But let's not forget about the temperature. Mars is incredibly cold, with an average temperature around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Even in the warmest midday sun at the equator, you'd barely hit 20 degrees. This sudden and extreme cold could lead to hypothermia, a dangerous drop in body temperature, as your body struggles to maintain its core heat. And then, there's the radiation. Mars has no global magnetic field to deflect harmful solar and cosmic radiation. If you're on the surface during a solar flare, you could receive a lethal radiation dose in those five seconds. Over a longer period, 
consistent radiation exposure could lead to severe health problems like cancer. Five seconds might not seem long but on Mars, it could be deadly. The prospect of exploring Mars captivates us but it's crucial to understand the risks. As we've delved into today, the red planet's atmosphere and temperature are unlike anything we experience here on Earth. Attempting to stand on Mars without a helmet even for just five seconds would have severe, life-threatening consequences. Despite the inhospitable conditions, the allure of Mars continues to draw us in. The challenges we face aren't deterrence but driving forces, pushing us to innovate and expand our technological horizons. As we've seen, research into propulsion technologies like nuclear thermal propulsion and ion propulsion is ongoing. These advancements could significantly cut down travel time to Mars, making manned missions a closer reality. But it's not just about getting there, it's about surviving there, thriving there. And for that to happen we need to invest in understanding Mars better, developing the right equipment, and preparing ourselves for the unique challenges that come with living on another planet. For more fascinating insights into our universe, subscribe to CNN World, and don't forget to like and share this video. Keep exploring and stay curious. Hey.